dog recall can sometimes be challenging, but it is such an important skill. But training recall doesn't have to be a chore. It can actually be made into a fun game. As I work with my young dog, Skeen and Raven, I'm going to share some of the games and exercises that I'm doing to create a reliable recall with them. I hope you'll join me and play along with your dog. This game, Touch and Go, starts with using a hand touch, which is a simple <laughs> trick to teach your dog, then sending your dog out and getting them to bounce back to you. Teaching a hand touch is great for any dog because it can help teach your dog to focus on you and that can be useful in a variety of situations, including walking on leash, recall, or really any time you want to get your dog's attention. You'll need some small and tasty treats available in your pocket, your food pouch, or in a container nearby. You can even use your dog's kibble and turn his mealtime into a training session. First, open yes. your hand near the dog's nose, and when your dog moves forward yes. towards your hand, say yes, and deliver a treat to the dog in your palm where you want your dog to place their nose. Now repeat this process for a couple of minutes. Always quit on a happy note while your dog is still having fun and before your dog gets frustrated or quits on their own. A couple of minutes several times during a day can often be more effective than one long training session. Once your dog has caught on to the basic hand touch, then you can vary how you present your palm to the dog. You'll want to eventually vary both your hand and body positions so that your dog will learn to offer a hand touch in a variety of situations. Once your dog is really solid in offering a hand touch, then you can add a verbal cue, like push or touch. Ready? Touch. Yes. Good. Touch. Yes. Touch. Yes. When your dog is reliably yes. offering a touch and you've been able yes. to add a verbal cue, like touch, then your dog is ready for the next steps. Start by asking your dog for a touch, rewarding your dog with food in your palm a few times, then you can ask for a touch and instead of rewarding in your palm, throw the treat a short distance away. This time you will use a cue like go or get it and let your dog fetch and eat the treat. Touch, go. Once they've done that, raise your palm again and ask for another touch. If at any time your dog is confused, then go back to the first steps of the hand touch and reward in your palm again. Your dog will always let you know when they are ready to progress. The fun part about this game is that your dog will learn a pattern of bouncing back to you. Since dogs will continue the behavior that they most often repeat, this is a great game as a foundation for basic recall. When you're teaching your dog recall, it's important to practice frequently so that coming when called becomes a natural pattern for your dog. You can create a strong bond with your dog by short, fun sessions like these. And these games will definitely help you with recall skills. For more recall games, check out this video. See you next time.